good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. We're looking further into the homelessness crisis across the state and right here in Kern County tonight. And this comes after an announcement by Governor Newsom about helping to address this issue. But first, let's check out how California's homeless population compares to the rest of the country. So this map is from the U.S. Housing and Urban Development, and it shows that the nation's most populated state also has the largest homeless population. As of last year, California reports that it has close to 162,000 homeless residents and states with darker blue shading have more pronounced homelessness. New York, Washington, Oregon and Alaska all report about a 50 homeless person per 10,000 residents and then lighter blue states like Utah, Texas, Ohio and Arkansas have less than 10 homeless people per 10,000 residents. Over the last several years, people have called on our lawmakers to help with the issue. And today, Governor Newsom took a big step towards a solution, proposing a plan to help get thousands of people off the streets. 23 BC's Kylie Walker joins us live in downtown Bakersfield to break down these numbers and what this means going forward. Good evening, Kylie. Alex, while many are able to take some sort of shelter, the latest numbers, like you said, they are showing that more than half of the California state's population is living on the street. But that's why Governor Newsom today proposed the bill, a multi-billion dollar plan in order to combat these issues. What we're proposing here today is a $12 billion two-year housing proposal. Unprecedented again in American history, not just California history. It's what Governor Newsom called historic on Tuesday. Billions of dollars being proposed to address the state's homeless crisis. Breaking down that amount shows nearly nine billion would go to expanding on Project Home Key and to convert existing buildings into 46,000 housing units. Also more than three billion would go toward homeless prevention and rental support. Includes prevention services, rapidly housing and funding to support people, keep them in their homes, as well as to quickly procure and develop new family focused units of housing. Newsom says the state estimates his package will provide placements for 67,000, which would come during a time when the state desperately needs it. Latest numbers from a 2020 point in time count show that as of 2020, more than 160,000 Californians were experiencing homelessness in just one night, which is more than any other state in the country, with 70% of this population unsheltered outdoors. we got to drive this agenda with the urgency that is required. I'm not interested in six-year plans, 60-year plans. I see it change now. Now, if this plan does win support from the legislature, the implementation would rely heavily on local governments. Now, I did reach out to our mayor, Karen Go, but she was unavailable to speak for an interview today. In Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23ABC, connecting you. All right, thank you, Kylie. And as Governor Newsom made that announcement today, it got us wondering, where is all that money actually coming from? So tonight we're taking another in-depth look at the state's budget and California's comeback plan. Now, yesterday we told you that California is looking at a $75 billion budget surplus, and most of that money came from personal and corporate taxes generated last year. The governor enacted preventive measures to combat a predicted below to revenue uh, because of the pandemic. However, many people were able to continue working during 2020 and losses weren't as drastic as once thought. Now, those combined factors led to the surplus we are now seeing, and the governor says the federal government is set to contribute $26 billion to the comeback plan. And so where is all of that money going? Well, Monday, Newsom announced a tax rebate program for Californians. About $12 billion is getting spent there. And then another $2 billion is being used to repay utility companies after many payments were missed during the pandemic. The governor also says he plans to forgive missed rent payments for the last year. And then we also learned today that $12 billion will be spent on fighting homelessness. So how much money does the state have to spend? Well, California says it has about $200 billion in funding, and with half of that going towards the California Comeback Plan. The rest of that money is split across the sectors on the chart that you're looking at right now, and most of the money the state is funding is for health and human services. K through 12 education takes up the second largest chunk, followed by transportation and higher education costs.